The video on the left is before I started the DIY. The one in the middle is in the process and then the one on the side is the one that I'm currently going to do. And so this is how the living room look all <laughs> before I started my DIY. You see how big this sofa was? It looked so horrible and taking all the spaces that I had in the living room. So I decided to change it and get this uh, one from Sofa Club. So this was the whole look after I got my new sofa before starting my DIY. So here we go. I finished, uh, I had a previous video which you can look, I will link in this one below. I did a paneling for the living room i did painting in that video and so this is the time i'm putting some pictures on this picture i got it off uh there was what i got on amazon but then it wasn't the best looking so i decided to go to uh ebay and then get the one that like the color that matches what i want to use for in my living room because i did not want too much dark of uh frames so this is just to have some kind of brown like you know like molding kind of style in it so i got about four of them but i think four is really too much now i will use only about three even though i put the fourth one there i'll be using it in another room but it's hanging there anyway i just wanted to hang this so that it doesn't like damage where i put it around anyway so i'm just readjusting to see which one will be the best so they, they are like similar kind of pictures but they are 10 in like the other one is starting the other one is facing the the other side and one is fixing like the right so they are like three different pictures but similar pic uh, similar design if you understand what i mean so i'm just trying to give this living room kind of a modern look and it is really really coming out the way i i wanted it to look like even though i've not finished to like add a little bit of touches and so these are the final or finishing touches i'm adding to it and i got this beautiful gorgeous little thing i'm going to show in this video from amazon and it's so lovely it's changed the whole look of the living room guys you will love this okay so what i did first is i measured uh, the panelings that i did in the center to create uh, a unique or will i say a, a same kind of a height uh, for the picture hanging so i did that earlier on i did not put that in this video before i went to hang the little hangers or hook on which i'll put the frames so after that i just continue straight away to be hanging uh, to put the hooks on the wall in this video and so you can see the uh, last one in the corner there they are like kind of a, a, a two-eyed uh, hook with a little hole in the uh, two sides and then one in the bottom so about three holes on it anyway so that is the last picture i'm hanging and it's really 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 making the living room look really gorgeous and like really modern how i want it to look i went back to look at my previous living room and i'm like oh is this the living is that the same living room <laughs> it looks so good it has a really great difference from the first one that i had that kind of a dark looking sofa that was there and it did its purpose that sofa was used for about four years from someone where i also got it and used it over four years so about eight years old sofa and it's still looking really good so i got rid of it in another video of mine that i, I did on this channel so anyway i finished hanging all these frames what i'm doing now is just make sure they are all in line and i did check and they are all in line but i don't know my camera that i'm using to film this is a wide angle so it makes if you can see it look as if it's not uh in a good line but then it is so yeah a little gorgeous product that i got of amazon that is going to give the living room an extra modern gorgeous expensive kind of look i mean i just love this product i bought it off uh amazon for 18 pound each there are two of them i bought it's a light it's a picture light where you put on top of the pictures if i bring it closer you can see anyway i'll put it on the wall and you see it has this kind of metal that you put on so i'm just putting it putting it onto the two uh, frames in the middle at the moment because there is four frames i can't go and put it at the other ends because it would be like too far away we sit in the center anyway so i would put it there at the moment but then in future or soon i'll be removing it and put at the other like the end of each sofa so that means three uh, frames will be hanging there instead of four and i'll take the other one out and go and use it in my other diy anyway so that is how it's looking now this lights are rechargeable so you don't have to be putting battery in them and you don't have to drill the wall to connect electric wires and all that it is like rental friendly very good gorgeous light you just recharge it when it is off like just put the plug in and charge it and come and put it back so that is it so i have two of those metals i'm going to put on so first of all i put my little screws into the wall because the way this thing is designed you just hook it onto it and use your uh, screwdriver to screw it properly high tight and that is it that's all so 
that's what i'm just doing now screwing the metal onto the wall first before i come to put my light on and yeah <laughs> i just love the way my living room is looking now anyway so i'm going to list all the products in this video or in my living room under the uh, my description also the paint i use for this living room is called uh dulux egyptian cotton i don't know if the camera is favoring it or the lighting is favoring it this paint is so good it has been one of the most popular paints around and everybody is trying to use in their living room and in their room uh, bedrooms and everywhere you can use it everywhere actually so almost done almost 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 done yeah so i'm going to uh i've charged the lights since it came and i'm going to just go ahead and put it onto it and it's so nice you can just use your hand to just touch it at the side and it will come on and it has two different uh, lightening one is like daylight one is like warm light and you can also increase it up to very very dim or very very bright it goes about very bright i mean really bright so depending on what you want to use it for and you know the more brighter it is the quicker it will die anyway so I don't put it on really really bright i just put it on like medium so this is the white light and that is the warm light and the warm light is not all it can also go dimmer than it is so <sighs> that is it you see how much difference it has made to the living room it's it's making look like really really modern and gorgeous anyway so just putting the second one on and that is not all it also has a remote both of them has a one remote each but then i decided to use only one to check if it work on the two of them and yes it did work so it's not like one of those lights where you just go into the sofa you have to reach up high and use your hand to on it no i'm just adjusting to make sure it's straight because sometimes <laughs> anyway so that is it that's a controller i used and it has accepted both of the light and it looks so good so guys currently this is my living room and i'm in love with this sofa it's from a sof uh, it's from sofa club it's so comfortable and so nice it's called afternoon tea soho i just love it and the flower or the plant in the corner there if you can uh, there was a video i made long time ago i bought it from uh, aliexpress also and Anyway, this is not all the DIY I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of touches. Even that so far, I'm going to do a DIY to it, change it a different color, either black or white. I don't know which of them will fit it yet. Maybe bring suggestions. What do you think? Black will fit there or white? So, what do you think, guys? Here is the end of the DIY. I hope you've enjoyed and thank you so much.